thanks for joining me again. This video is about felony offenses and entering Canada. A lot of times when we review a client's FBI clearance or state clearance, the offenses state that it's felony. However, the sentence that they had to serve for that offense doesn't necessarily match what Canada would have done or handled it. So what we look at when we assess an immigration matter um, is not only what the offense was in regards to that particular state or country, but also what the, equ the equivalency would be against the Canadian Criminal Code. When an offense actually says felony offense, and when we do the equation, um, it, it could have been a summary offense, it is possible that the officer uh, would, would take that offense and equate it to what we consider an indictable offense, which is the American terminology of felony offense. And how the officer looks at it and, and the equivalency to the Canadian Criminal Code, they consider a few factors. One is what kind of conviction was it? So what is the actual uh, terminology of that offense? Um, what was the actual charge? So not only what you were charged with, but also what you were convicted with. The date of the actual conviction, that could be different. So you could be charged with, you know, you could be charged with an offense today, you go to court, and the conviction date is of a different uh, date. Possibly you may not be convicted of the offense. So those dates uh, differ could differ, as well as the actual terminology, what you were charged with versus what you were convicted of, could differ as well. Uh, the other thing that's very important is to look at if there was a prison time involved. If there was prison time of six months or more, then most likely it would be con considered a felony offense or what we call an indictable offense. Um, versus if there was less than six months, we could argue misdemeanor or summary offense. Um, what was the actual sentence? So sometimes there's no prison time, there's a fine, there's probation, there's classes you have to take, etc. And lastly, what were the events that led to the particular crime? So they, they and this last one is not as important. Um, however, we do like to understand, to explain to the officer what led to the offense, but actually what you were charged with, what you were convicted of, and what you had to serve is what the core of the documents need to be and then taking that offense and equating it to the Canadian Criminal Code which could be you know a very difficult task because we look at the charge the conviction the sentence what you have to serve and take in foreign countries laws equated to the Canadian Criminal Code and that's the equation is extremely important if you do it wrong um, or possibly if the officer doesn't agree with your equation, then you could be refused entry. So I hope that helped in regards to felony offenses and entering Canada. It doesn't necessarily mean that just because the, uh, the court documents or the FBI or the state clearance state felony, that it would be considered felony in Canada as well. There's a far more complicated equation involved. So if you have a case like this and you want to enter Canada, Give us a call, let us assess your charge, your conviction, your sentence, and let us tell you what exactly would be the equivalency with the Canadian Criminal Code. Thank you, and until next time.